In section 10.3, we dealt with a lot of tests for, that helped us determine convergence or divergence of series that only had positive terms in them. In this section, we're going to look at a lot of series that have both positive and negative terms. Um, in fact, some of our series, many of our series, maybe most of our series, are going to alternate plus term, minus term, plus term, minus term, plus term, minus term. And so we're going to examine how to determine if those series converge or diverge. Uh, in addition, we're going to uh, differentiate between two different kinds of convergence for those. So we're going to differentiate between two terms, absolute convergence and conditional convergence. So in the previous section, all our questions were basically of the form, does the series converge or diverge? And now our, series, our questions are going to be of the form, does the series absolutely converge? Does the series conditionally converge? Or does the series diverge? That's what we're going to be looking at in this section. So... We should start off with a definition here, and so the first definition is absolute convergence. So the series, the sum over a sub n, converges absolutely if, when you replace a sub n with its absolute value, if the resulting series still converges. By the way, no, I'm not bothering to put on n from 1 to infinity or anything like that here, because... Well, you know, it's kind of implied that there needs to be something there, the sum from something n from something to infinity, but it doesn't matter if this is n from 0 to infinity, n from 1 to infinity, n from 2 to infinity, stuff like that. Uh, this is just what it means for the series to absolutely converge. Okay, so let's do a, a first example here of, of a series that is absolutely converging. So we want to show that the sum from n from 1 to infinity, with minus 1 to the n minus 1, divided by n squared, we want to show that this converges absolutely. So how do we do that? We need to look at the sum, where we place each term of the series with its absolute value. So we're going to look at the sum from 1 to infinity of the absolute value, of minus 1 to the n minus 1, divided by n squared. And so what happens when we take absolute value of this? The absolute value of minus 1 to the n minus 1, those terms are always, always going to be either plus 1 or minus 1, depending on whether n minus 1 is odd or even. And so the absolute value of either plus 1 or minus 1 is just going to be 1. So our series here is going to be uh, the sum from m from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared. And so this is something we should know from before. This is a p-series with p is equal to 2, which is bigger than 1. So this series converges. Okay, so uh, we conclude here that because this series converges, we say that the sum from n from 1 to infinity, the original series, minus 1 to the n minus 1, divided by n squared, this converges absolutely. Okay, so this is an introduction to what it means for, our, for a series to be absolutely convergent. Let's go on and look at a very, hopefully, obvious theorem here. Uh, actually, I think I'll do that in the next video.